Arcade. Hey guys, we're here at GDC. I'm sitting down with Josh from Crescent Moon. We're going to be looking at uh, Paper Monsters Recut, the revamped version of Paper Monsters that came out a couple years ago. Yes, and this version um, is basically exactly the same as the Wii U version. Oh, okay. That it came out first on about, I think it was six, maybe four months, five months ago. Okay. It did really well on the Wii U and yeah. wanted to do a console experience for this game, so cool. we decided to take that and bring it to iOS devices. And, and we're looking at one of the new features, which is like a overworld. Right, so it's like a playable level map, I guess, mm -hmm. to get to your different levels in the game. And we've added a ton of different new levels uh -huh. that are sort of interspersed with the old levels. Uh -huh. And on top of that, there's a whole new space area where you can get in a moon buggy and a, shoot a ray gun and uh -huh. you know, that sort of Do stuff. Do space things? Do space things. Cool. Okay. Um, the only problem is I can't actually show that part because it's at, near the end. Oh, yeah. It's but I'll, but I'll show you one of the things that we did um, for this version, which is in the, the Wii U. We added a lot more effects in, you know, obviously the places are a lot more capable now. So yeah. We've got real-time shadows and the fancy um, normal maps and maps and all that craziness. Yeah, you can tell right away it looks super nice. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely come a long way. People that have played the original version will definitely remember these levels, uh -huh. but then you'll see things that were not there that are in between. And you're uh -huh. like, whoa, what's a different thing? I think it's been so long since I played the first one. I'm happy been, to replay it through again. I think it's been what? It was like four years ago. Was it that long ago? It, it 20, might have been. It was, 20, it was either 2011. 2011. Yeah. So it's been. Time flies. Years. Time does fly. And this is one one of the games that I collaborated on rather than just published. Yeah, that's right. I did a lot of the art and actually designed the box guy. We never really officially named him, but. Box guy. I just call him, <laughs> just call him Box Guy or Paper Dude yeah. or whatever. Now I remember this is one of the famous Crescent Moon uh, celebrity makeovers or whatever. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was one of those ones where I like worked with a developer and kind of took over the game as far as like the aesthetic of the game, yeah. some of the design elements and things like that. Yeah. And, you know, I think it turned out pretty well. And back then it was like a huge success for us. Yeah. Had a pretty good fan base, so we wanted to try to bring it to other platforms. And the developer actually is Mobot Studios, uh -huh. referred to. They used to be called Robots vs. Wizards. Oh, that's right. Their name, and um, they decided to do the recut version. Which oh, okay. Basically, um, you know, revamp the game and edit new elements. And uh, is this on? This is on like iOS and Android, right? And then Wii U. Is it on anything else? Right now, actually, it's on the Fire TV. That was one other thing that we put it on. The recut. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. So it's like another little console. Is the recut on Android, or will it be? But the original one was on Android, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. So the Android version came out much later than iOS, and yeah. then um, and then uh, we decided to take a little breather. Uh -huh. Actually, we did no. We did do a bunch of little level packs. And But then, uh, I'll revamp and do tons of new stuff. It'll be premium price. I think it'll be $4.99. Uh -huh. And it's actually out next, next Thursday. Next Thursday. Which is the... Ne the 12th? Calendar. Not like two days from now. No, not yet. Yeah, not this week. Thursday, but... Yeah, next week. Next week. So yeah, it'll be out the 12th. And actually... Things that we did. We released this game on Steam also, I just realized. Oh, yeah. That's right. Um, some of the stuff that we did there, we also brought over to the iOS version, like some of the effects that were harder effects, things that were harder to do back then uh -huh. on iOS. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. It's now you nice. just, if people that hadn't played this before, that's one of the things jumping in and out of the background. Yeah, that was like one of the little. Mechanics of interest. <laughs> <laughs> However you call it, little puppet. I saw that in another game recently that uh -huh. actually I really want to play called um, God, 
Zio, Zio Drifter. Oh, yeah. Uh, Zio, what the heck is that called? Uh, Zio Drifter? Zio Drifter. Yeah. Yeah, I really want to play that game. I don't that, know if it's out on iOS or not. No, it's a 3DS game, I think. 3DS and, uh, game, yeah. It's from the guy that made Mutant Muds. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which also has that jump oh, okay, in, yeah. in and out mechanic. Yeah. Mutant Muds is on iOS too, but I think it's currently broken. Which is oh, sad. is it on? Oh, yeah, I might have to bug him on Twitter. Yeah, bug him. Um, but that game looked like my kind of game, and it had that kind of stuff. So anyway, yeah, that's Paper Monsters Recut out next week, and we're very excited. Whoa. It's looking good. Where are you heading right now? Is there anything, In this any world? explosive <laughs> new things that we can check out before we take off? Um, I'm probably going to die. There you go. That was explosive. <laughs> no, that's probably, that's probably a good spot to end it. Yeah, probably. because we want to save the really good stuff for when you buy it. Cool. All right, thanks a lot, Josh, for showing us Paper Monsters Recut. We will be looking forward next week.